this week's Fortnite Battle Royale update has rolled out earlier than normal today on a Wednesday. Instead, it has gone live and we've actually got some changes with the way that updates are going to work in Fortnite going forward, which I'll talk about in a little bit. But today, we're going to be focusing on everything that is new today and it is a lot, including the addition of vending machines, how they work, where to find them, accuracy changes, damage drop-off changes, and new modes. All of that wrapped up into this video. It is a big one. As I always say, make sure you subscribe. More importantly, turn notifications on so you never miss a video and YouTube will share them with you so you can see all of this stuff first right here. So let's jump into this week's first big thing, which is the addition of a brand new mode. This is High Explosives Mode V2, which includes all of the new explosives that we've had since the first version of that mode. So it includes the addition of the Guided Rocket Launcher, and also the C4 explosive. I'm going to be jumping into that very soon and giving it a go because I absolutely love the guided missile launcher and it's a great way to find it and mess around with it. On top of that, as I said, there is also a damage drop-off changes and 100% accuracy changes. A lot of these have been taken over from the shooting test um, mode that was available a long time ago. And now when you aim down sight, if you do not move, your crosshair will go all the way to the smallest crosshair possible, which means you're about to deal a 100% accurate shot. On screen here, you can see me melting someone with this brand new accuracy. Three shots, gone. See you later, buddy. It is absolutely insane to so make sure you're using that to your advantage when you're taking people on in the game. And also a lot of damage drop-off changes as well. Too many to list specifically, but I'll put them on screen here. And make sure you're keeping this in mind for those longer range engagements now, using your assault rifle, SMG, and all of those weapons that now do include a damage drop-off. It won't be hitting quite as hard as they do up close and personal. And all of this is live across all modes in Fortnite and is a part of the game to stay. So let me know what you think of them down below. Keep an eye on the gameplay that you're about to see here in today's video because it will have those changes in effect and you can see how the damages have been actually mixed up. So now time for the biggest update this week and it's vending machines. I talked about this and how it was accidentally found last week when someone lagged through the map. But we now have specifics on how they work and where you can find them. So there's multiple different types of vending machines all with different color rarities going obviously from gray all the way up to golden and legendary. I I've actually found one of those legendary vending machines and oh boy are they awesome. So each vending machine, this is how it works. Each vending machine has three drops that it can have. They are random and each one of those drops will take the form of being purchased by either wood, brick or metal. Now each one of these vending machines has a cost to it. Common is 100 material of each type and then it goes all the way up, up by 100 each time depending on the rarity, all the way up to a legendary vending machine where it will cost you 500 material for whatever you want to buy from the vending machine. What the vending machine contains is also random but it's anything that's available for that color. So for example, an epic purple vending machine could have an epic scar, could have a launch pad and then could have an, uh, an epic RPG. A legendary vending machine just like I found could have a chug jug, uh, a legendary scar and then again a legendary RPG and each of those would be randomly assigned a different material type. So you need to farm up and farming is more important than ever for those materials if you do find them then you can actually go ahead and use them, put them to your advantage and go on to hopefully win. In terms of the locations of the vending machines these actually take the spot of vending machines that were already in the game. Vending machines have been in the game for a while but just as an inanimate sort of object that was a normal vending machine except now you can actually interact with them and the way they work is exactly like chess there are vending machine machine spots around the map those will never change the spots are consistent but the vending machines won't always be there just like a chest won't always be there if you land uh, in the same house every time which means knowing these spots is super useful so you can go and check them whenever you visit a town now earlier today I asked you guys to tweet me all of the locations as soon as you found them so you could try and map them all together and the guys over at Fortnite Intel have mapped together all of the data that they've gotten so far to create this image on screen here. Make sure you're sharing this with your friends, make sure you're note it, noting it down yourself, maybe take a picture on your phone or just save the video so you can come back and look at it whenever you 
want and keep these locations in your mind so that you know where to go to find them. So in summary, vending machines have consistent spawns but won't always be there. They can be a random color from gray to legendary, will contain three random weapons or usable items or even traps depending on the color of the vending machine and will always be of the material type wood, brick and metal for you to buy them with different costings depending on how rare each of the vending machines are. That is all you need to know guys and is everything that is involved in this week's awesome update that has gone live today. Now there is going to be a change of the way that updates work. From now on there's no longer going to be weekly updates unfortunately. There's going to be big content updates every two weeks with the addition of something new. So updates are going to slow down just a little bit in terms of what they're putting into the game. So that's what we can expect from now on going forwards and there'll be no more server downtime when these updates go live which is a good thing for me and uh, it, it's great that having to wake up got new content and we don't have to wait for the server to come back online so that's what we've got to look forward to now every two weeks new stuff will be coming to Fortnite now obviously with these new vending machines in the game I gotta go and get some I gotta try and get myself some good loot and hopefully go on for a victory royale smash that thumbs up button if you're excited for the addition of vending machines will I find a legendary vending machine can I go on to win that's what we're gonna find out today we're also gonna be testing out the damage drop off and also the 100% accuracy all in this video so I hope you enjoy it guys make sure you subscribe and let's get into today's action with the new vending machines a very smooth landing in retail row and I have come here for a very specific reason there is two vending machine spawn locations here sad news is the exact spot that I just landed is where one of them is meant to be and it is not there um, the spawns are consistent but not always there if that makes sense so uh, always check the same places. It's not like a supply drop or a llama that could just land anywhere. They're always going to be in the same places. Hey, buddy. Let's go. Disgusting. Oh, and that, that slurp juice is just going to slurp me right back up. I love it. So we're going to go on the hunt today, guys, for some vending machines. Uh, they are scattered all around the map. I, I believe it's generally one in every single town. I've been a lot in between the towns as well, which is awesome. Uh, I've been landing in Salty Factory for almost all of my games since the update's gone live. And found that a really, really good spot. This guy's come from here, hasn't he? Uh, found that a really, really good spot to go ahead and uh, get the vending machine if it's there. Because not too many people go salty. Uh, there's another vending machine in this direction. Let's see what else is over here. Just another green shotgun. I've got a blue pump, baby. I don't need your green one. What are you on about? I don't think I didn't hear those shots over there, by the way. There's also a vending machine in here. I'm just going to go ahead and get this chest. It's actually a new chest spawn. I say new. It's probably like a week or two old now. I don't really come retail or haven't been coming retail quite as much as I probably should have done. Um, but yeah, just in case you don't know, there is one there as well. Got myself an epic SMG. And actually the first um, vending machine I found today was an epic vending machine with both an epic scar and an epic RPG. And look at this. So this is a vending machine. You can hit it to switch its uh, item and it is not breakable. I may come back and get the... Um, uh, I may come back and get the campfire as a healable item. I would have to loot up a little bit though, unfortunately, before I could do that. Hey, buddy. Don't pop that. Don't pop that. Chill, buddy. Eight. Are you serious? Leave me alone. Ow! How how did my pump deal eight damage? Good job. Ow, ow! God, there's someone else here. There's someone else here. Run. Just run. Oh my gosh, don't trap me in! No! I have no materials. This is not... It's not the end. Oh! On that headshot. He's, he's so weak. What? 19 HP! He should have destroyed me! <laughs> I still have no... Okay, I do have some metal. I have picked up some metal. Let's put these bandages back on. <laughs> Retail is busy today. People are vending machine shopping everywhere. Oh my god, thank goodness that guy didn't have a chance to pop that shield. I am very thankful for that indeed. 
Okay, so we are moving to the other side of the map, ladies and gentlemen. We've got to uh, get our speedy feet on. What else? I did see, um, talking of campfire. Did not see the egg launcher, though. Take that. There's definitely a campfire here somewhere. To help get me back up. Boom, beautiful. Do I have to go ahead and buy it? Saves me a little bit. One thing I have seen, and actually was in that vending machine as well. I don't know if you guys noticed. There was someone up by that little house. I don't know if you guys saw. As I was medding up there. I did see, I think, a, um, a, uh, a dark voyager over there. His little orange glow giving himself away, I always say. Not the best skin in the world if you don't want to don't be seen. Really, really obviously. He's going to have to move as well. He's going to have to move as well. Um, but yeah, like sometimes vending machines with two of the same items. I, I, I've experienced that a few times now. I think that's kind of annoying. Uh, especially since there's so many items for every color. Like in that blue one, it could have been a, uh, a blue tack shotgun, blue SMG, and then a campfire. But two campfires, like, I don't, I don't think that should be the case. I hope, I hope Fortnite changes so that you can actually go ahead and get three unique items every time rather than having that potential uh, for having, like, you could maybe even glitch out of three of the same items. I guess it's kind of good. In, like, I, I mean, say, for example, you find a legendary, um, you find a legendary a vending machine and it has two legendary scars and one of them's 500 wood and one of them 500 metal you're gonna get the 500 wood one you know what i mean uh so that could work out in your favor but i don't know let me know what you guys think it's a, it's a really cool addition and if you find one with mini shields in it or shield in it uh, i found one with a chug jug in a legendary one earlier and i was like well that is so awesome that is so clutch and the, the chug jug when i got 500 uh 500 brick for it actually saved me because i was only on like I don't know, 60 HP or something. I'll probably show you guys the clip. But it is really, really cool. And I've been following this guy. Where the heck has he gone? Bertrude! Bertie, where are you? I don't know if his name's actually Bertie, but that's what we'll call him. Uh, there is one, uh, if anybody's seen Salty Factory over there, it's going to be in the storm, though. Just spied him over there. Someone is building a freaking birdhouse over there. Birdhouse, treehouse, I don't know, it's magnificent. He's done a great job. What is this person doing? I want to see if we can put this 100% accuracy into, uh... Here we go. Okay! Just as I say! Watch this. I don't know why this person's done that. Sorry, buddy. You are screwed. Oh, ho, 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 ho! Poor thing. Poor Bertie. That Dark Voyager's still going to come. Is that him up there? No, that's that's part of it. He's come out like a bird! Ow! The hell did you just hit me with? Oh yeah, I love the distance it shows for how far you kill someone. I killed someone with a scar at 180 meters the other day. Can't remember if I went on to win that game. Can't remember. It's just one of those random games I was playing for fun. Let me know if you've ever had a longer AR shot than 180 meters. I think that's pretty nuts, to be honest with you. Um, all right, five kills, 25 left. Storm's coming in. Um, I could put down. Oh, that's far. That is really far. Could put down the campfire, but. Mm, you know what? That is far. I think I need to get running, guys. I'm going to pop on some bandages. Actually, I may even have to keep bandages. It's probably worth keeping bandages over one mini, you know what I mean? Got to be smart about this, guys. Got to be smart about it. I haven't seen any signs of that Dark Voyager. He's just packed up and gone home. Maybe even died in a storm, to be honest with you. I don't know. <laughs> swear I saw him by that building earlier. I don't, think I'm, I don't think I play so much Fortnite that I'm hallucinating. All right, time to get your, your jog on. So this skin here is actually, um, I don't think I've done a video of this skin yet. It's not the most special skin in the world, don't get me wrong. Um, I, th I still think it's a really cool skin, I really like it. But this skin was in the store for like maybe one or two weeks as I think a daily item, definitely not a weekly item, ages ago, months ago. And it just, it never came back in the store. It's a one skin that's not like crazy, crazy good, but I really wanted and, and didn't have a chance to buy. When I went to San Francisco to uh, present the uh, the 
the reveal of replay mode. I said to the Fortnite guys, like, please, this skin right here, can you put it back in the shop just for one day? Because I, I just, I need it for my collection. I don't know if that made them do it. Honestly, I kind of doubt it, but I like to think maybe it was. Um, but then like a week later, or a few days after I came back from San Fran, it was really soon. It was in the store and I got that real quick. I just really like it. It's, it's a really good stealth outfit. Me and Rich ever did like commander, commando ops operations. I always wanted one of us to have this one, the other one would have the uh, male version of a little beret. A little black beret on their head. Okay, the jog, the, the, the jog is almost over from one side of the map to the other. I have not gone checking for vending machines on this side of the map since the update's gone live, unfortunately. Um, I don't even know, and this is something I will have to check, I don't know if a chance of getting a common vending machine is the same as getting a legendary vending machine. But I have, I've been playing for like an hour or so. I found no common vending machines. I found a lot of blues. I think I found one purple, one legendary, and one green. So I, I genuinely think the vending machines, they may be equal rarity, which doesn't really make too much sense. I'll have to look into that one for you guys. I've got a few really cool vending machine ideas for videos that I want to do, so... You're gonna be sticking around as the update, as the locations get updated. I'll keep them, keep you guys in the loop as well. It doesn't look like anyone's come down here. Please, full shield or a slurp. Oh! This is my day. Whew, this is my day. Let's get this. Now, the only thing to make it better would be if I found a legendary vending machine or a legendary scar. You hear that, Fortnite? Only thing that would make this better. All I ask for. A very timid ask, if, you, if I do say so myself. More ammo. Honestly, we could do with any, <laughs> any better AR than this green thing. Wondering if there's any of a chest around here. Oh, 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 chill out, boys! I don't know if someone won that engagement. Someone did come up in the kill feed. I feel like I'm, I'm waste. I feel like, like I shouldn't be using my materials when there are vending machines in the game. Like, I could be throwing away a legendary scar now because I've decided to use this, this wood to build, you know what I mean? That's what it makes me feel. I don't think this girl knows I'm above her. I'm actually outside the storm as well. Yeah, doesn't have any idea. Uh oh. Take it back. Holy mother of god, you just melted me! Chill! I could have done that engagement a little bit better, man. Ah. Oh. If I'd known she'd had a legendary scar. I would have taken her out a little bit more carefully, so I could have kept my 100 shield. Well, without it, I definitely wouldn't have lived. Legendary Scar, though. No need for a um, legendary vending machine for that anymore. Someone's just popped away in a storm. Boxer Dog 2007. You are 11 years old. I think. Most of the time, a year in the name does mean your age or when you were born. Fortunately, the storm was not kind for you, young Boxer Dog. So one possible vending machine location is just by this hut, but it's not there. I can hear some shots over here. Hold on. Yep, definitely. You're, you're underneath? Oh, come on! Any of us Let's go! I was just about to say any of us could win that gunfight. Oh, you have literally exactly what I need! Let's go! Oh, what a good kill! Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I know that my shotgun's just done a brilliant job there, but my favorite gun is the SMG, is my sidearm. Just how I like to rock it. Everyone's got different um, choice for their sidearm. Epic SMG for me is number or no. So, in the remaining um, part of the map here, there is one in Greasy Grove. I actually would love to get myself over to Greasy Grove and try and get involved in a little bit of that action. That'd be amazing. And here's someone firing an RPG and shooting, so there's still a lot of action going on. A lot of action going on. No one's killed each other yet, though. Big ramp over there. Did hear someone or something over here. Don't know where they've gone. Oh. Dark Voyager. Yo, imagine that's a Dark Voyager I saw at that hut all of those times ago. I'm leaving him alone though. He instantly started building. I'm not interested in getting in a build battle right now. Someone's on that. 
Someone is trying their luck of a new 100% accuracy. Definitely, definitely, definitely. All right, for the moment, guys. I'm gonna be sensible here. Pop myself in this little house. Set up shop, you know what I mean? I've got a legendary scar, I've got a legendary RPG. I don't even need a legendary vending machine. We're looking good out here. Let's just do a little basic, one by one. Person, that person is getting rowdy. The thing is, with the 100 accuracy, you can sit in a base with a with I mean any really assault rifle. Burst, burst is even better than ever. By the way, if you get that 100 accurate shot off first, you're guaranteeing one shot out of three hitting, and then the other two obviously are random. But still, makes that blue burst even more deadly. Scars still, I mean scars, scars are scar. It's great, you know what I mean. I've got nothing bad to say about the scar. Don't get me wrong here. Well, looks like we're definitely moving to Greasy Boys. I'm going up. Someone's trying to snipe up there. Another thing worth noting is that the bullet trail of guns is a lot more noticeable now. Hey, got a exploded distance meter. I'm literally about to run past this gunfight. Hopefully they don't see me. Please don't shoot me in the back. Please let me alone. What are you doing? What was that? I'm not complaining though. He had literally, literally had no shield, nothing. Bro, but everyone is in greasy. Holy moly. I mean, right, you saw it. It's the only big town left in this final area, but still. Thought people would be a little bit more spaced out. Let's get it. Oh, look at, look at that. I think that's the most perfect angled placement I've ever seen. That base can still get eyes on me. I don't think so, bud. I don't think so, bud. Let's go. Damn! You got lucky, man. Oh, you see that? You see that? You see that? There you go! 100% accurate shot. In action. Didn't really actually take in how much damage it did though. But it's a, bit, it's a hefty drop off for the hand cannon, I know. I remember reading the patch note. What the? Are you serious? I'm being shot at from both angles. Two people with different RPGs. One with an Easter egg launcher, one with an RPG. That just does not seem fair if you ask me. Oh my gosh. We fix this. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, if I can stay here, supply drop. Can you hear him? I am so dead! Recover, recover, recover. I think they're fighting each other. I think they're fighting each other. How have I gotten away with that? Someone shotgunned each other. Don't even care. Oh, come on! There he is, there she is, there she is. Why me? I mean, I know why Mika has got freaking destroyed. Someone's going ham with that bunny launcher. Everyone is, I can see people building. There's one woman here somewhere. I don't think there's anyone behind. Literally. Leave me alone. Let's go. Easy. Should not have sat on my base. Oh, thank goodness for all those minis! Still five people left! Oh my gosh. I don't know if I can shoot through that tree. Ah, get out of the way, tree! Alright, they're both shooting at her. No, they're not. What the heck? That was easy. Ten kills! Jeez. Game's got real, real quick. Let's go. See if I can explode this guy. Really? Ow. Oh, come on, come on. This is good loot. This is really good loot. Um, hold on. Let me let me be sensible here. Boom. 
Good old campfire, which we never bought from the vending machine. And never will, but it, I'm, I'm, I'm healing myself in your memory. Should I, should, I, should I make myself obvious here by doing this? Let's go! So much loot. All right, let's go and see if he's got any rockets. Let's go and see what he's up to. Someone's building in, um, in there. Oh, oh, shield, shield, shield. I'm going for this. I'm going to put one on. Hopefully the storm doesn't move on me and pick up my scar. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 chill, chill, chill. Chill, buddy, chill, buddy. Let me just get into the next ring. We're good, we're good, infinite building. Get away, get away! No! No! That was a final 1v1! Don't tell me that was a dude I RPG'd like five minutes ago and he managed to run away. I didn't realize it was a 1v1. If it was a 1v1, I would've just turned and shot. I still thought there was plenty. My supply drop's still in my base. You only had four kills! Ah, you know what? I, this is actually a fun fact. I get, I get parents coming up to me telling me that I should post losses. So I don't come across as someone that always wins. So this is for all the parents out there that have come up to me and said that. Second place. I'm not happy with it. Oh, damn it. You know what? Sometimes you get flustered. Happens to the best of us. I didn't check that it was a 1v1. If I'd known it was a 1v1, I would have stood my ground and shot RPGs back in. Back in. I was at 100-100. He was at 50-100. It's all good. Guys, if you enjoyed, give it a thumbs up. Over the next few days, I'm going to have some awesome videos. I've got so many plans for the vending machine. Uh, obviously, there's a new high explosive mode as well. So much cool content will be coming your way. If you enjoyed, give it a thumbs up. Check out our Fortnite playlist down below in the description for all my other Fortnite videos right now, including the fact that Tilted Towers may be hit by a meteor very soon. Go check it out. Go watch it. I'll see you guys later for another video. Bye-bye.